Distributed Database System presented by Rupali Banerjee. So today our topic is Distributed Catalog Management. Distributed Catalog Management. So what is the utility of learning Distributed Catalog Management? We already learned that in case of distributed database system, the whole database is first fragmented and then replicated in different sites. So if a relation is fragmented and replicated, we must be able to uniquely identify each replica of each fragment. And also we must keep track of how data is distributed across sites and we must be able to name each replica of each fragment. So we have to learn distributed catalog management site catalog. It is created on a particular site. It describes all objects, means all fragments and the replicas of that site and also keeps track of replicas of relations created at that particular site. To find a relation of an object means to find the original relation of a fragment or replicas, we have to look up its bus site catalog. So site catalog preserve local autonomy means local name and also BAT site. There are three popular management scheme for distributed catalog. First one is centralized. In this approach, there is one global system catalog and it is stored in centralized site, one single site. Okay. All other sites in the distributed system access catalog information from this central site from the global system catalog. This approach is very simple but it has some limitations. The system is vulnerable, means what? Because global system is stored in only one single site. So if the failure of central site occurs, then what happened? We can't get any information. So the system is vulnerable. The availability and reliability are very low in this case because the global system catalog is stored at a single site. The major drawback of this approach is that it decreases site autonomy. What is site autonomy? Site autonomy means it is local autonomy. That is, each server participating in a distributed database is administered independently from all other database. So each site has its local control. In case of centralized catalog management scheme, because here, Global system catalog is stored at a single site, so it decreases site autonomy. Our next scheme is fully replicated. In this case, catalog information are replicated at each site of the distributed system. So here also catalog information are also replicated. So the availability and reliability are very high in this approach because catalog informations are there in all sites. The site autonomy increases in this case. Obviously, site autonomy will increase because there should be some local control then. But the disadvantage of this approach is that information update overhead of the global system catalog. If one replica is updated, then all other replica should be updated. So, this is the disadvantage of this approach. And the last scheme is fragmented and distributed. This approach is adapted in the distributed system as such to overcome the drawbacks of the above two approaches. So what is distributed system as star algorithm? We will learn later in this video series. In this approach, there is a local catalog at each site that contains the data stored at that particular site. So at particular site, there is one local catalog for local data. In addition, the catalog of the bath site for a relation is responsible for keeping track of where replicas of the relation are stored. So there is another information for bath site where originally the replica, where what is the original relation of that particular replica. And whenever a fragment or replica is moved from one site to another site, that is it moved from different location, the local catalog at the corresponding site must be updated. Obviously, because the local data will be changed, but bath site information will not change. Now see the types of questions comes in your university exam.
for getting more and more updates please please like share and subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you